Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 8th. Now, keep in mind the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you, okay? So, we are just going to see what comes up. Hierophant. Hierophant. Well, the Hierophant is a card of faith. It is a card of faith and trust in the divine. We have a direct connection to God here. We have a channeler who has a direct connection to God that needs to listen to their gut. There is a message that is coming from above. Pay attention. The message is coming. This is a message from God. You need to listen. Pay attention. Um, believe. Have faith. Believe in yourself. Listen to your gut. There's a higher power that is involved at this time that is bringing you a message. We have a new beginning here. This is stepping into new territory, starting with a clean slate, a fresh start. A new beginning is coming. Happiness, happily ever after, happy relationship, abundance. This is a spiritual blessing. Somebody is going to be receiving a spiritual blessing. The storm is just about over. Your new start is right around the corner. Hangman reverse. You must let go. You must stop wasting your time. It's time. It's time to let go of whatever it is that you have been hanging on to. I know that there's struggle. There's struggle to let go. But don't let your ego get in the way. You are missing an opportunity for happiness. The end of suffering. The end of a painful situation. We have, we have a few tens here and a zero. Okay, We have a completion of something and a new beginning. This is the end of something that has caused you a lot of pain. It could be the end of a relationship that you have been hanging on to. It could be the end of a commitment, something that you are highly committed to. This, the the paraphant is about commitment. Have faith and trust that everything happens for a reason. The Hierophant is uh, the higher power that is pushing you into new territory, okay? It's time to leave everything behind. The Fool starts a new journey with very little, just with the experiences. Be, this is an exciting opportunity. The, this is freedom. You're free, free from the pain, free from the past. Let go. This, the hangman reverse is let go. Somebody is going to be letting go. They're being guided, spiritually guided to let go. Very spiritual energy here with the hangman, the fool card, and the harrow font. Very spiritual. We have spiritual guidance here. We have the end of a relationship as well. Somebody is letting go of a relationship. They're leaving it behind with blind faith. Okay, stepping into new territory, new territory with blind faith. Just do it. Just go. Have faith. Have faith. Believe. Trust that this is what you are meant to do. This is a new chapter that is beginning. It's the end of suffering. It is the end of a painful experience. Take that experience with you, but leave the baggage behind. Okay, and I know that's hard. There's emotional baggage here. Leave the baggage behind. That Take it as an experience that you will always have. It's made you wiser. 
tens are completions. We have the completion of some of commitment. We have a completion of a commitment. We have completion of a situation that has caused somebody, you know, a lot of suffering. This is the death of a situation. Ten of Swords is a death. It is. This is letting go. This is actually exciting. Somebody is being guided to stop hanging on. And they're going to do it. I do believe that they are going to do it. We have a new beginning here. We definitely have a new beginning here. Um, and this is going to be a struggle. And it's interesting because the hangman is a struggle. It's struggling. Somebody has been struggling. But now there's some sort of divine intervention. I mean, that's what the Hierophant is. There's been betrayal. A lot of betrayal. It could be family betrayal. Relationship betrayal. Marriage, you know, somebody may have been betrayed in their marriage or their with by their family. It's over. It's over. The Ten of Swords is it is over. There could be this is like uh, this is the death of a situation. This is giving up. It is giving up. It's over. It's, it's goodbye. It's goodbye to this suffering. It really is. So whatever the suffering is. Knight of Swords reversed. Five of Cups hang. Five of Cups is grieving. Somebody's been hanging on. They're not gonna. They're they're letting go. Uh, Five of Cups is grieving over a loss, struggling to let go, crying over the spilled milk. Uh, not realizing that there's another opportunity, procrastinating, not moving forward, angry. Somebody's been angry. They've been bitter. They've been trying to uh, push somebody back into a commitment or force somebody back into a commitment, maybe trying to punish another person. I feel like, or this is grieving over a loss. It is grief. There's been grieving. There's divine guidance here that God is in charge. There's a higher power in charge. There's another opportunity here. Somebody has been procrastinating. Knight of Swords reversed. In no hurry. Angry. I feel like we have anger here. Trying to prove a point. Trying to prove that, that this was, you know, going to work out. I do believe that we have somebody here that is about to leave everything behind and do something risky. They're about to do something that they normally wouldn't do. There's some sort of family issues here as well or relationship problems. It's over. It's over. This is this, you know. I don't know. When you get the Knight of Swords reversed, this is somebody that, I don't know if we have, I mean, the Knight of Swords reversed can be somebody that, and next to that Heyman, that Heyman reversed, that is somebody that is uh, fighting and will not change. This is somebody that is struggling with change. They are struggling to accept something. I feel like we have somebody here that is angry. They're not thinking clearly. I, hopefully, they're not doing something stupid. They, we could have somebody here that is doing something stupid that ends really, really, really badly. And I'm sorry to change the subject like that. But the Five of Cups is grieving over a loss that could be happening in the near future. I'm not sure if it has to do with family. You know, this, this Ten of Swords can be the straw that breaks the camel's back. And we have 
uh, I'm not sure if we have somebody here that has some mental health issues not, uh, next to the hangman reversed. I mean, this is somebody that has a that is obsessed. You know, they're obsessed with hanging on to something, or you know, they they have some sort of point to prove. So I'm hopefully somebody isn't planning to do something to hurt another person, and I hate to say that or to hurt them themselves. Um, I do believe that there is some sort of higher power here that is guiding somebody in a new direction. We, we have an individual that has been struggling. And they may have been struggling mentally. Struggling with their thoughts. Struggling with a loss. Struggling with betrayal. Struggling with letting go. Struggling with a relationship. Could be a family situation. Could be a love, re a commitment, a marriage, whatever. A father. May have something to do with a father. Um, because the Hierophant, to me, does represent a father. A person of a pos in a position of authority. And the Hierophant is a higher authority even than the Emperor. Okay? This is the highest authority. Um, I feel as though we have somebody that is really, really, really suffering. They have been suffering, but this is the end of suffering. But there will be grieving there is grieving. There is grieving with that Five of Cups. There is grieving. Somebody is doing something, and they could be doing something foolish. I mean, the fool can represent foolish behavior. So somebody is doing something foolish. But um, that's on one hand. And remember, I read for thousands of people, and that's why the story is always changing. Because I'm reading this one, and I'm reading this one, and I'm reading this one. You know what I mean? So I'm getting all kinds of different stories. Um, we do have w one person here, or several, that is, well, the main theme is divine guidance to step into unknown territory. That's the main theme. Somebody is being guided to do something that requires them to leave everything behind and start a new journey and they are being it's almost like they're they're really being they're being told to do it and they're going to do it however that resonates with you this does lead to happiness it does and there but but it also requires leaving behind i don't know if it's leaving behind family it could be. It could be leaving behind the family, leaving behind the, the, the thing that broke you, leaving behind the pain, leaving behind the suffering, leaving behind the betrayal, leaving behind the ego, you know, because the hangman is an egotistical card, okay, that is somebody that is obsessed with control, that is letting go of control, is, you, you got to let go of the control and, and take a risk, so... But that Five of Cups is grieving over a loss. It is, it is a breakup. It is a separation. It is crying over a loss. So I'm wondering if, you know, it feels like there could be a loss here. There could be a death of a situation that could come extremely suddenly with the Knight of Swords reversed. That could be, uh, I don't know. I mean, the Knight of Swords reverse could be without thought. It could be without thinking. And the Hangman upright is thinking. And so it's like without thinking. And this is foolish. So somebody could be doing something without thinking, you know, and it causes, you know, I don't know. It could cause uh, an ending, just saying. Um, but everything happens for a reason because there's divine guidance here. You know, sometimes, you know, everything happens for a reason. Everything does happen for a reason. So, um, oh, one just fell out. Spur of the moment decision at a crossroads. Should I or shouldn't I? So, we're going to put that right there. So, this is expansion. It is stepping into new territory. We have somebody here that, uh... I feel like we have death. You know, and I looked at this, I, I saw that flag. I don't know why I thought that. Anyhow, but, and a death can represent 
any type of ending. Somebody is letting go. They have, and it's like they're all done. They're all done trying to prove themselves. They're all done thinking about it. They're not going to think anymore. This is a very spontaneous move. Um, two of Wands at a crossroads. Stepping over the edge. Stepping over the edge. Somebody may be pushed over the edge. And that you can use that as a metaphor. Okay, They're, they've reached the edge. They, the edge, you know, they've been pushed over the edge. Um, and they're about to leave everything behind. Somebody is leaving something behind. They are going in a new direction. Mm. making a decision that tool twos are decisions they, somebody is making a decision they've done thinking about it it's going to happen I feel like we have anger. We have anger here. We have mourning over a loss, over somebody's decision to leave. And you must accept it. You must let go. And have faith and trust that everything happens for a reason. This is a, actually a spiritual blessing with that ten of, ten, ten of, ten of cups. This is the storm is over. That's what's coming. This is the end of suffering. It's a blessing. Consider it a blessing. This is the end of suffering. Whatever that means. I hate to say that. partnership equality we have, we definitely have a partnership somebody may be um, being divinely guided towards a partner that they never expected expect the unexpected twos are about partnerships they're about unions they're about decisions they're about choices you know, there's divine guidance here. Two of Cups is uh, working well together. It is uh, seeing eye to eye, coming together. We have two people that are being brought together. They are, or they are meant to be together. This is starting with a clean slate. It's starting over. A decision is being made to start with a clean slate. This is meant to be. We have somebody here that may be getting uh, together with somebody. They may be getting proposed to. It could be very, very suddenly. They, may, they could be uh, running into somebody spontaneously where, you know, it's, it's a perfect match. This is the end of a period of grieving, put it that way. We, the Ten of Cups can represent a permanent love. It can. So I do believe that there is some sort of, and this is a blessing as well. So we have a blessing here. Somebody is being blessed with a connection that is perfect. After they have been grieving over a loss... There, this is an exciting opportunity to leave everything else behind and start over. So starting over with a clean slate in a new relationship. And we have a new beginning here where two people, you know, are meant to be that come together. I mean, that is falling in love or a relationship, stepping it up to the next level. This is balance and harmony and equality and attraction and it's a perfect match. This is like, 
I would like to say this is God bringing two people together that are meant to be together after there has been uh, relentlessly hanging on to a betrayal that of the past. And it has been relentless. It's time to focus on a union. It's time to really put your energy into a union where there is equality, where there is familiarity, where there is love, where there is uh, attraction and compatibility. And, and there's probably a need to take your time there's no need to hurry. This is meant to be whatever it means. Anyhow, I believe that uh, somebody's going to be stepping into uncharted territory and and stepping it up to the next level in a partnership. This could lead to marriage. Somebody may even be getting married or they're going to be meeting somebody spontaneously that could lead to marriage. This is, or, or strong commitment. This is the end of suffering, okay? It is. Take your time and do not let fear get in the way. Be fearless. Do it. Just do it. Just take this risk. Somebody is being guided to take a risk. It leads to happiness. It's time to stop hanging on to the loss. It's time to leave the past behind. Step into unknown territory. Okay, this is a completion. We have completion, 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 and new beginning, new beginning, new beginning here. This is freedom. It is leaving the past behind. It is moving towards the future. It is completing one cycle and beginning a new one. A lesson has caused somebody's evolution. This is uh, triumphantly stepping into the new life, stepping into the new world. I saw a new world here as well. So we have a new world. This is a new beginning here. This could be a change of residence. This is a whole new you. This is traveling in a new destination to a new destination, right? There could be some travel that or moving or something like that. This is the end of a journey in the beginning of a new one, okay? This is leaving the past behind and stepping into a whole new world. So yeah, we have a new beginning here. We have the end of one chapter and the beginning of a new one. And it does lead to a, or it is a soulmate partnership, okay? It's a soulmate union. We have two people coming together that are divinely guided to be together. The decision is being made to go in that direction with blind faith. Good luck.